When I came out publicly, officially, uh, in 1994, in an interview with Terry Gross on NPR, uh, she asked me what it was like being a gay jazz musician. Uh, and I gave this statement that I was a mus musician who happened to be gay. Uh, I've been now a more fully out uh, gay person in all these years since then. And it's safe to say I feel it's the opposite. I'm a gay guy who happens to be a jazz musician. And I s describe it that way because I don't think about music every waking moment. Uh, I do lots of things during the day and some days I hardly think about the music at all because I'm not working that day or playing that day. But I'm always aware that I'm gay. I'm always aware of my sexual identity. So uh, I think that's, you know, the way it should be phrased that I'm, you know, I'm a gay person. I always was gay. I didn't figure it out until I was in my 40s. But, um, but once I finally got it clear, um, that's been a major part of my, uh, you know, my identity and, and who I am. I was gay all along. I just, you know, couldn't allow myself to accept it. I, I, I think I've said that uh, I was so busy keeping it a secret from everyone else that I kept it a secret from me too. And the thing that people will often tell you after they come out, this sense of liberation, for me, it was because, without really noticing it, I had, was constantly censoring everything I said. Every comment I made, I would double check the wording as I spoke it to make sure I didn't give any hint that uh, I could be gay. And, uh, and I realized that I had kept a certain control over my behavior, my, my, the way I moved, the way I talked, everything, for fear that uh, someone might get that impression. And once I didn't care, it felt like I could, it was so much freer. And I, I think it affected my playing, uh, certainly my outlook uh, t toward people in general. Musicians are uh, and, you know, an interesting mix of uh, thought patterns and feelings that come out in the playing. You know, when we're improvising in particular, we're, you know, we're not even playing music that's been written beforehand. We're making up the majority of the elements of what we play when we solo. And uh, naturally, your state of mind and your emotional state uh, is reflected somewhat in you know, what you play. Now, when I go back and listen to early records I've made, I don't hear them as being cold and unemotional or anything. But I can say that after I came out, I felt a greater sense of freedom when I was playing. And I know it affected you know, the results of my music. And around that same time, I was playing tango music with Astor Piazzolla, which is a very dramatic, emotional music. And I learned a lot from that experience about how to get more drama into my playing. And I think that had an impact as well. But I've always felt that, uh, you know, freeing myself up from being inhibited about being gay had to, uh, you know, affect my music as well. <laughs>